Hey guys, so I wanted to make this really short clip, um, and basically just show you, um, the rawness of being a mom. So, the past probably four days, I've gotten about two hours of sleep every night. Um, it's 1.15 in the morning, and I've been battling Prem to sleep since basically all day. Like, she hasn't slept longer than two hours all day she's had a really really bad like time sleeping I don't know what's going on I don't know if she's like is just not sleeping or you know what she just doesn't sleep very well um, and she's never been like this like this is something totally new she's always slept up to six hours like it's so weird and Drew, everyone's sleeping schedule's off. Drew likes to sleep all day and stay up all night. And it's like 1 in the morning. And he's just now waking up. And it's like, okay, so he's waking up. And as you can tell, she's asleep now. And that leaves me with no sleep. I am so exhausted. And I have a headache. Um, and it's like, I could force him to stay up all day. But then he would be super, super cranky. I would get literally zero sleep. And I'm already functioning on like two hours a night. And it's like killing me. Clearly I have a headache and that's from exhaustion. I try to nap on and off. And it's like if he's in a deep sleep, she's fussy. If she's in a deep sleep, he's awake being a demon. And it's like it just goes back and forth, back and forth. That's like the, the raw. Like the uncut mom life. And like she's like at this point to where like she's kind of like cluster feeding right now. Which is normally only for breastfed babies. But... She's cluster feeding. So instead of eating every four to five hours, she's wanting to eat every two to three. And it's like, OMG. That is so much food for a tiny little thing. Uh, she's probably going through a growth spurt, which is normally they sleep a lot through those. But maybe that's why she's fussy. She's eating a ton more. She's just not sleeping. I think she's laughing at me or smiling at me because she's putting me through heck right now. <laughs> um... That's, like, the raw. Like, that's the literal mom life exhaustion. Like, that's that's all I can say. And everyone's like, oh, we want babies, you know? And it's like, oh, no, we don't. Some babies are really good sleepers, which she normally is. She's normally an excellent, excellent sleeper. But she's just not being a good sleeper right now. And then it's like, I thought, I, was, I don't know what, but I was hoping that this would not be so exhausting. And in the beginning, it wasn't. In the beginning, I was doing great. I was on top of my game. And then when she was, like, a week, two weeks old, my aunt came and picked up Drew for two days because I was exhausted. Hold on, Drew. They were doing that. Sleeping schedules are doing now, so my aunt came and picked him up for two days, and I got sleep, which was a couple of weeks ago, which was great. And now I'm exhausted again. And it's like he loves to go with my aunt, but he doesn't go very often. Um, and it's just so tiring. Like, I need their sleeping schedules on track. I need them to, like, connect. I don't know what we're going to look for right now. But, like, to sync. I need them synchronized. So, like, when he's asleep, she's asleep. And I know, like, during the night she's going to wake up and stuff. But normally he sleeps through that. Like, he has no problem unless she really gets, like, really crying. But he's also becoming more sensitive to waking up to her crying. Excuse me. And it's... it's <laughs> It's just tiring. I love them to death, but they are exhausting. Um, being a single parent makes it really hard because, you know, I'm the only one who gets up with her and is awake with him. And so, yeah. I just... Did you just pee up? I just wanted to, you know, let you guys... And she just farted on me. Let you guys know, like, the truth behind the mom life. And this is it. I mean... It's hard. It's not easy. It's frustrating. It's exhausting. I plan on, because we all know she's not going to stay asleep. Well, I know that anyway. Um, giving her a warm bath. It's her umbilical cord finally fell off at three weeks. Uh, she's actually a month old now. plan on giving her a little bath. Warm bath. Giving her some calming lotion. Okay. Giving her a little bit of putting on some calming lotion. I can't even talk. Some calming lotion, and she just ate, so, okay, Drew, so hopefully she will sleep for a while, and then Drew 
honestly would lay in my phone. Lay in my phone? Holy Jesus. Would lay in my bed on my phone, and I could just kind of relax. It's better than... Okay. The door is open. Shut it. Is she puking my hair? From you are killing me right now. Anyway, yeah, this is. She really did puke. Oh great. Um, this is. This kid, he is. Anyway, I thought I would just show you guys a little bit of the realness behind the mom life. And I would say I hope you guys enjoyed because I don't know who enjoys seeing videos about moms being exhausted. But hopefully this helps you guys see like the truth. And then like listen, okay? This is a big thing right here, this whininess. Be quiet. All the time. Drew, she can't hear me. If if you go in there and shut the door, she can't hear me. Um, that that whine is all the time. And I know it would be a lot better if his sleeping schedule was back on track. But, you know, I already went through that. And so it's like, yes, I deal with two kids that don't sleep. One who's been fussy for a couple of days. And the other one who whines all the time. Love my kids to death. Wouldn't trade any of it for the world. But sleep would be nice. So, yeah. That's the raw, uncut mom life right here. She's half asleep, half awake. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. I'm actually going to do a 10 facts about Little Prim and then a 10 facts about me. So you guys can get 10 facts about all of us. I've done quite a few 10 or 15, 20, 50 facts, whatever about myself. So um, you guys probably know almost everything there is to know about me. But I'm going to try to come up with some new ones. Maybe you guys can like... Tell me what you're interested in knowing about me. Comment down below. And then that would very well help me. I'm going to try to get this little one in the bath. Get that, get a peanut butter and jelly, or cereal. He either wants cereal or peanut butter and jelly. He tells me cereal and he tells me peanut butter and jelly. So I'm going to get him one of those and give her a bath. Hopefully be able to just lay in bed and relax. Oh. I don't see it happening.